Hey guys, it's Trey here once again, back with another video. And in today's video, we will be creating another React component. This will be a table component, and we will just create the component. I'm not really gonna style it. I'll just let you guys figure out how you guys wanna style it, but I will create the component. It's just gonna be a very basic table component. So the first thing I want to do here is I created this list. This is pretty much what's going to be in the table. Um, usually you would probably get this from a database or somewhere, but I'm just going to use this hard coded list for right now. And this will be the information that we want to display the ID, the name and the age of each person in this list. And we will render it here um, in this app component right here. So let's go ahead and create our table component. Uh, I'm going to do that by creating a new folder in this components folder. So let's do that. We're going to say new folder and I'm just going to call it table. Then inside of this table folder, we're going to create a new file called table.js. All right. So now that we have this file, we're going to go ahead and set it up. I have a package installed on here that allows me to use shortcuts to um, set up a React component. So you can get that um, from down here. You just go down here and type in um, React snippets or something like that. You just type that in there and you can download that from there. Let's go ahead and do that. I will do that by typing in RFCE. Hit enter and it creates a component for me. And I will throw, uh, let's actually just go import this into our app.js file. So. Now that we have this created, we can go to our app.js file and import it here so we can actually render it onto the screen. So I'm gonna go under this import, um, the app CSS, and we're just gonna say import, and then we're going to say table from, and then we're going to get our table from the components folder. So we're gonna say dot slash components slash table, table, all right? So now we're grabbing that table component and then let's render it out here. So we're gonna um, create a new element here, table to add our component in. And then that's pretty much it. Um, let's actually put something in this table and run the program so we can make sure that is actually rendering it correctly. So we're just gonna say, hello world. Let's save that. And then I'm gonna run the React program by typing in npm start and this will run our program um, having an issue list is used okay that's not a problem okay here we go so now we can see that it says hello world all right so now that we know that we're rendering this we can go ahead and actually create our table component so the first thing i want to do is erase this hello world because that's not what we want our table component to have. All right, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna add our properties in first. So um, within this function, the parameters we're gonna pass in for our props, we're gonna um, use destructuring so we can just name out the props here. And we're going to type in the list. So that's pretty much um, what's gonna be the stuff that's gonna be in the table. And then we're going to have the call names. The call names is pretty much the um, the names of the columns for the table. So that will be in our case, if I go back, we'll see that it's ID, name, and age. So we can pass that in. Because um, if you have your list here, let's say we had some abbreviations, like uh, let's say we used NM for name. We wouldn't want the column name to be NM. So we're gonna add that as a separate thing. All right, so Let's go back here, finish up our props. We're going to also need to add the width of the table, the height of the table, and we're gonna just set those to auto for an initial value if they're not set. That way we can just have it set for us already. So this is pretty much what we're gonna to need to, for our table. All right, so inside of this div here in our return, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and actually create our table. So let's do that by first adding a check. We're gonna to check to see if the list is empty. If the list is empty, we don't wanna render 
the table because there's nothing to render. So what we're going to do is we're going to say list length is greater than zero. And then we'll do these two ampersands. And from here, we can go ahead and render out our table. All right. So we got that. Now I want to actually add the table. So we're going to say table. So this is going to be our table. For some attributes for our table, we're going to set the cell spacing to zero. All right. And for our table, we will add a little bit of style. Um, this is more so for the layout than for like colors and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and set our width to the width that we pass in height to the height that we pass in. And then we'll add a little bit of padding for the table as well. We'll just set it to be five pixels by 10 pixels. All right. So there we go. We have the table set up the way we want it. And now we're going to pass in our header. So our header for the table is just basically going to be the um, column row. So the row with the columns on it, with the column names on it. So we'll um, type in T head. And then inside of here, we're going to go ahead and create a table row. Inside of this row, we're going to have um, all of our headers. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to loop through these column names and actually set them up as um, columns. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're going to say is we're going to say call names dot map. We're going to say header item index. So we're going to get the item and the index. Then inside of here, we're going to create a table header. And this table header will have to have a key because we need to set a key for anything that we map. So anything that we're going to loop through um, and react, we need to add a key for that. So the key is where the index comes in. We'll just set that as the key. So from here, we can go ahead and set our header item. Then we're going to set it to uppercase so that um, we can just style it that way. And from here, we're done with our header. So we can go down here and create the table body. So we're going to type T body. Inside of this body, we're going to go ahead and loop through this list and print everything out. So the way we're going to do this is pretty much the same way we did with the column names, except this time we're going to need to get the values from that list. So we're going to say object.values. We're going to pass in this list. So we're getting the values from the list. Then we're going to type in dot map, same way we did with the header. And then inside of here, we're going to take our object and our index. All right. So now we can go ahead and throw in the body, which will be also another table row. And remember, if we're going to use this map method, we're going to need to add a key. So we're going to say key equals index. And then from here, we can go ahead and we can map through the values from each element. So the list, we're using this object.values to map through um, the list. And then we need to map through the elements in that list for each column. So we can do that by doing the same thing. Object.values. Then we'll say object. And then we'll do map. And we'll say value index two. Same thing there. And then we'll throw in our column. And inside of this column, we need to print out the value. And don't forget to add your key here of index two. All right, from here, um, we're pretty much done with our table component. Now we can go back to our app.js and we can add in our props here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove that and then I'm gonna do the slash bracket notation. All right, and then in here, we're going to add our props. So let's go back to our table component and then we'll check out what we need. We need the list, so let's set the list. List is going to be the list. Then we're also going to need the column names. So we'll say call names 
and we'll set that to those. Let's define those. So we'll say const call names, and we're going to set that equal to ID name and age. All right, so that is now set. I'm going to capitalize that. Now we can go ahead and put the column names in here. And then if we go back, what else do we need? Uh, we have width and height. I'm just going to leave both of those as auto for right now, but you can set those if you want. So that will set everything for us. And now all we need to do is run the program again. So we're going to say npm start. All right. I think we need to be here. There we go. And here's our table. So this is a basic table. Obviously, there's no styling really on it at all. So from this point here, you can style this table however you want. I guess I can go ahead and add a, a quick little style here. Let's let's do that. It's not going to be anything crazy or anything. We just add something really basic, like a like a background color for the uh, for the header or something. So let's go to the header. We'll say style, and inside of here we do the double curly braces. And we can say background color and we'll set it to black and then let's just set the color to white that should change that see so now we have the header with the background color of black and uh the color of white so the words are white and then let's add for the entire table let's add us something else to this style here so we're going to go up here to the top div and we're going to add some style in here. So once again, style with the double curly braces. And then in here, we're just going to let's just set a box shadow and I'll set it to let's see, three pixels, six pixels, there's another three pixels. And then the color, let's just make it gray. All right, and then let's see what we got. All right, so there is a box shadow. We are pushing this out all the way, so we might need to set that width to 100%. Let's try that. I'm just winging stuff here now, uh, <laughs> now guys, so just bear with me. Let's see what we can do here. Let's set the width to 100%. Let's see what happens there. All right, so now we're stretching all the way across. And I think I want to set the width here. Let's set it to like 50% just so we can see the edge. Uh, that should do it. Okay, so now we can see the, the drop shadow a little bit better. But this is just a basic table. You can figure out how exactly you want to do this. Um, but this is the component and it will function styling is completely up to you i just added a couple of basic styles here just to show you how you could add styles and then you could also in your code um pass them in as props here if you want to instead of hard coding it here um but that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next video